Move, Toku. Move, Toku. I'm gonna make him sing if you don't. See, okay, see there, he's singing. I told you so. Anyway, hey guys, it's XN Shadow, and welcome to the grand finale for Let's Play Lost Winds, Winter of the Melodias. In the last part, we rescued, er, I guess rescued isn't really the right word for it, is it? Um, we found the robotic doppelganger, well, not really a doppelganger, we found the robotic body that's inhabited by the Melodia King's soul, and he follows us around and shit now, because he's our robot pet, and I'm keeping him, and you can't take him away from me. <laughs> anyway, uh, we had an annoying escort mission with him here, and now that we're in the Melodia Palace, we're going to get some kick-ass music, finally. I do like Lost Wind's music for atmosphere, but the fight, the River Inn battle track is one of my favorites in the entire series, and it's just... It's such a great final boss theme, because it's something that it fits for a final boss atmosphere, but it uses instruments that you don't normally see in that sort of thing. Anyway, if you remember at the beginning of the game, this guy here, once you sang in front of it for a long enough time, made that really low-pitched annoying sound, and well, it looks like River Inn doesn't like that very much. Basically, for this section right here, all you have to do is get uh, the Melodia King to sing, and then you just need to gust on River Inn over and over again. Basically, what he's trying to do there is he's throwing a whole bunch of, uh, shadow balls at you. Um, and if he hits the Melodia King, then you gotta start all over. So, if you gust, uh, you're supposed to gust the balls away to somewhere else, like, out of the way. But it's just easier to keep on gusting him, because the balls, the shadow balls always start with, uh, always start at River End's body. So if you keep on gusting him, the balls will always just sort of fly out of the way, or just disappear entirely. So that's the best way to deal with that part of the boss fight to begin with. Uh, other than that, it's, that section is really just a tutorial for the bigger boss fight, because after you go into the, uh, cause going into the palace is the real final boss. I should note that this is a point of no re well, not necessarily a point of no return, because if you load up your save file after you beat the boss, you can go back and pick up stuff, but this is the last room in the game, so if you want to backtrack for if you want to backtrack for shit, I recommend sitting the Melodia King's uh, ass down in this room so you know where to find him and going to get that shit now. Because if you don't do it now, you're well, you're not going to get it ever. Because 100% is so important in this game, right? Anyway, um, the Melodia, the same basic strategy happens here because you got the Melodia King and you got the Melodia King and you don't want him to get hurt. And you've got uh, and you've got Riverin here who keeps on throwing shit at him. You, you generally want to dodge, but also, if you can, you want to put a vortex around the glorbs that he's throwing at you, because then if you use a vortex, you can use the vortex glorbs to smack him. Like, oh, I missed, never mind. But you want, yeah, you want to use the vortex glorbs to smack him. That's basically how you do damage in, uh, in this fight. Getting hit by the vortex to glorbs is bad. You know, you will take damage from that. But the good thing is, is that, um... You, uh, because you're always fighting Glorbs in this boss fight, you're pretty much never going to run out of health. Actually, I, I lied. You're not supposed to hit him at this point. Uh, you're, it's, I think it's just a dodging game at this point. Not entirely sure. Oh, wait, I remember what you got to do. You got to use the Glorbs that he drops in order to break that wall, and then you got to go to the lefts and rights of the, of the area. However, uh, there's fruit in this room, and the Glorbs are constantly dropping those fairies that constantly refill your health. So, uh, there really is no reason to die in this boss fight. It's more of a puzzle than anything, which I guess works for this sort of thing. Because in Lost Ones 1, the most disappointing aspect of that game was how lame the final boss was. You know, that final boss fight sucked, and that's mostly just because it was trying to be a fight, you know? But in this game, it's more its more a puzzle, because health is a non-issue, and I like it better like that, and it certainly, it certainly feels like a fight in any case. So, you know, it's not, it's not like you're uh, just solving like a Tetris puzzle, you know, there's like actual stakes and stuff involved. Uh, anyway, uh, these rooms right here are very similar to the section that we had outside, only the problem is, is that the areas are a whole lot more cramped. So it's a lot harder to keep, so if you make a mistake, it's a lot harder to keep the Melodia King uh, from uh, doing his thing. Another problem is, is just that uh, you, you, I have a tendency of accidentally turning the Melodia King off 
uh, when I don't want him to be turned off. Like, I'm just going to be gusting randomly, and then I'll accidentally gust the king, and then uh, I won't be able to, and then he'll turn off. And if you mess up, if the king stops singing for even a moment, that stops the big statue's uh, timer. Like, it'll immediately drop back to its normal state, and you have to wait all over again for it to start playing the low-pitched tone that Riverend doesn't like. See, right there, I got hit. And it started going back down to the original uh, neutral state. Now, thankfully, I was able to catch it in time, so I didn't lose all of my progress. But you can be damn sure that you're going to lose a lot of it if you make a mistake. And a lot of the times, you're just going to lose all of your progress. So, you're going to want to defend the king no matter what. That's your most uh, pressing concern at this point. Anyway, uh, yeah, it's just a matter of backtracking at this point. You still got that escort mission annoyingness to this uh, mission, which is, again, annoying because it's an escort mission and nobody likes escort missions. Especially when it's a final boss fight, you know? Uh, nobody really wants to deal with that. But, it, you know, it's not that big of a deal, I find. Also, you have to use these fruits to push down things, and that's really annoying because, as I said before, object manipulation is a really annoying part of Lost Ones. I recommend that use. I recommend using Slipstream because that's the best way to be accurate in this fight. Also, there are two um, little statues here, so if you're looking for those, well, there they are. Anyway, it's at around this point in the fight where Riverend will pop up and steal his head because he's a fucking dick like that, and he'll just pop it somewhere else, like there. Basically, it's just a matter. It's just a matter of getting the uh, the head back and plopping it back onto the Melodia King's body. Um, there is some platforming that you um, can do to get it back, but you have the drum bella cape, so why would you even bother with that shit? You know, you can just sort of fly, and flying breaks all challenges like this. The most annoying part is just getting the head back onto his fucking body, because it's it's treated like a, a movable object, like rocks or rocks or fruit. So, you know, when you're trying to defend yourself by using gusts, it'll gust around all over the place, and that's annoying. And if you get hit during the animation, or at least early enough during the animation where you're putting it on his head, you will uh, get stun-locked out of it. So, yeah, that's annoying. But once you take care of one side, it's basically the same thing. It's you got to take care of one side and then take care of the other side. Same basic idea for, fo for both uh, sides. You know, you got to use a Glorb to break that wall. Um, once you break the wall, you gotta get the Melodia King to the other side. Uh, once you get him to the other side, you've gotta, uh, once you get him to the other side, you gotta use, uh, the, the, the little thingy in order to hurt Riverend. It's a very basic boss pattern, but I do think it's a boss pattern that's fun to do. Especially since there are enough, like, structural differences from getting him from one side to the other. That it's not the same thing, you know, it's not just a matter of moving left or moving right, you know, you're doing other stuff. Again, the annoying parts are the annoying parts that are just annoying about Lost Ones in general. You know, escort missions and moving blah. Escort missions, moving the fruit, etc, etc. Stuff that I've said that I don't like before, and I'll probably say that I don't like again. You know, same old, same old, no real big deal. Again, you know, same little nitpicky problems that don't affect the game as a whole. It's just that when you're in this boss fight, they all seem to come together all at once. Which is odd, because, odd, because, like, even though this boss fight incorporates a lot of the elements I don't like about uh, Lost Winds, it's still one of the highlights of the game to me. And I, I guess that's just the music, um, at this point, because, I, I, as I said before, I really do love this track. I've been looking for a solid MP3 rip of this track for years. I, I'm not telling you, I'm not lying here, I've been looking for this track to put on my iPod for years, and I finally found it, and it's awesome. And there still isn't an extended version up on YouTube either, which sucks. Oh, well, I guess that's mostly just because, you know, you can only get the song as the form of an iTunes download, and they're really picky about that shit. As opposed to, I don't think anybody's really, like, hacked this game yet. Like, I don't think anybody's gone to the coding and ripped out the MP3 files for themselves like they've done for other games. I think it's just been, just been Frontier, you know? Either way, after you get to the, uh, after you beat... After you beat Riv uh, Riverend in those two rooms, you can pretty much just leave the king alone. You're not going to need him anymore. Basically, what you want to do is you want to vortex. Uh, if you want to either use uh, gust that uh, gust the balls that he's throwing into him, like the ones that are sort of following you slowly. You either want to gust one of those into him, or if it turns into a glorb, vortex that into him. 
if you hit him a couple of times, he'll fall pretty quickly. So, you know, this part is actually the most straightforward part of the game. I, I'd recommend just getting a lot of distance between you and that uh, ball, and then uh, letting it travel a distance and then gusting it right at him. And then once you rip off his stupid bionicle mask, it shatters into a million pieces, and um, he takes off his frilly dress, I guess. And, well, it looks like he's back to normal. So yeah, Riverin was never really evil. He was just wearing a stupid bionicle mask and it ju clouded his judgment for a couple of hours. So yeah, uh, everybody comes back to normal. All the Melodias get turned out of stone for some reason. And uh, the your mom comes back to life too, though that's a slight spoiler alert. Um, I guess their king is still technically dead though. I mean, yeah, his soul is in, like, a, a robot shell, but that's still death, isn't it? Or whatever. Anyway, yay, they're happy. The family of stupid hats can finally reunite. So anyway, that was Lost Winds, winner of the Melodias. Uh, probably my favorite WiiWare title, actually. You know, it's not without its flaws, and you know, these are flaws that are just problems with the Lost Winds series that I've always had, you know. Moving objects, uh, the, the, at, that escort mission at the end is a little bit annoying, but just overall, this is what I think a sequel should do. Expand on the formula you already have, add a new spin on things, and just make it bigger and better. This is without a doubt one of the most visually interesting games on the Wii, and the soundtrack is still great, and also, I love the final boss theme, I can't uh, state that enough. Yeah, this is just a really great sequel, and I think that they've done everything that you want a sequel to do. Granted, there was still room for improvement here, but unfortunately Frontier doesn't feel like making any more Lost Winds games, so I guess we'll never see this formula truly refined to its finest point. Oh well. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that uh, playthrough, no matter how long the delays were. And I hope you see me next time for whatever I do next. I'm X and Shadow, and I'll see you guys later.